sorting algorithms are a very important subject matter of study. I am going to discuss some of the well known sorting algorithms, but we are not going to be writing code, but instead we are going to be using one of the oldest known pastimes, playing cards. We will use playing cards to understand sorting algorithms. I hope you will enjoy this session. Here I have 7 cards which I am laying out on the table. As you can easily see, they are not in order. I am going to arrange them in ascending order by following a certain procedure. Let me take the first two, 9 and 5. Are they in order? No. Let me interchange them. Note that when we say in order, we want an ascending order. Now we have 9 and 8. Are they in order? No interchange them. 9 and 4, are they in order? No, interchange them. 9 and 10, are they in order? Yes. 10 and 7, are they in order? So, interchange them. 10 and 3, are they in order? No, interchange. You probably already have noticed, 10 has reached its final spot. Let us begin again. 5 and 8, are they in order? Yes. So, we have nothing to do. 8 and 4, out of order interchange. 8 and 9 in order, leave as it is. 9 and 7 out of order, interchange. 9 and 3 out of order, interchange. 5 and 4 out of order, interchange. 5 and 8 in order, leave it. 8 and 7 out of order, interchange. 8 and 3 out of order, interchange. 4 and 5 in order, leave it. 5 and 7 in order, leave it. 7 and 3 out of order, interchange. 4 and 5 in order, do not disturb. 5 and 3 out of order, interchange. 3 and 4 out of order, interchange. We are done. This is called bubble sort. We just saw bubble sort. Now, let us look at a variant of it. You will see what is the variation the moment I explain. We start once again like bubble sort. 9 and 7, they are out of order, interchange. 9 and 10, in order, leave it. 10 and 4, out of order, interchange. 10 and 5, out of order, interchange. 10 and 8, out of order, interchange. 10 and 3, out of order, interchange. For bubble sort, we went back to the beginning and repeated the process. Of course, we did not come to the last one because as we noted, it is already in place. This time, we will instead of returning to the beginning, we will continue the backward direction. Obviously, 3 and 10 have just been arranged. So, we can compare 8 and 3. 8 and 3 are out of order, interchange. 5 and 3 out of order, interchange. 3 and 4 out of order, interchange. 9 and 3 out of order, interchange. 7 and 3 out of order, interchange. Now, once again 3 we just now moved, so we can start comparing with 7 and 9. 7 and 9 in order, leave it. 9 and 4 out of order, change it. 9 and 5 out of order, change it. 9 and 8 out of order, change it. 5 and 8 in order, leave it. 4 and 5 in order, leave it. 4 and 7 out of order, change it. 7 and 5 out of order, interchange. Done. That was shaker sort. Now, I have the 7 cards on the table. I am going to pick up one card and keep it in my hand. Now, I have a set of cards in my hand which is will remain continuously sorted because there is only one obviously this is sorted. So, we pick up the next card, insert it in its correct position among the cards in hand. It is pretty easy to do, it goes here pick up the next card, insert it in its correct position, pick up the next card, insert it in its correct position, pick up the next card, insert it in its correct position, pick up the next card, insert it in its correct position, pick up the next card, insert it in its correct position. We have sorted. We inserted each card in its right position, so it is insertion sort. Let us continue our 
understanding of sorting methods with the playing cards. Sure, this is the cards and the sequence in which I have them. Now, how am I going to sort it? I am going to first look through all of them and find the largest. Here it is, put it to the very end. Now, look at the remaining cards, which is the largest, pick it up, put it at the just before the end. Why? Because the very largest we have already moved to the very end. In the remaining, which is the largest? This one. Pick it up, put it just before the previous card you put. Which is the largest in the remaining four cards? Of course, seven. Pick it up, and put it here. Which is the largest in the remaining ones? This one. Pick it up, put it here. Between this, this one. Arranged. We have sorted once again using a different method. This method is selection sort. That is the end of our discussion on sorting algorithms using playing cards. I hope you enjoyed playing those cards with me. Thank you. Like sorting, searching is also very important. So, people often find it difficult to understand. We have got a very easy way using cards again for you to understand searching easily. I have cards numbered from 10 to 95. That is a beast of a logical expression, right? C is normally cryptic, but this is one of the more cryptic expressions even by C standards. Actually both beginning programmers and beginning programming students find such expressions difficult to understand. In this video, we will break this down into pieces